This is a 770 that I'm putting up for sale. Um, hope you will pardon my shaky camera. This is just real quick. It comes with uh, tool holders, the fourth axis kit, including the uh, the fourth axis, uh, what do you call that, tail stock. I don't think I've ever used that tail stock, but anyways, it comes with that. Uh, no tooling, just uh, that. I've also made a, a makeshift enclosure that if or when it sells, uh, you can take it with you, or otherwise I'm just throwing it out because it's taken up. Room. But anyway, it's worked for me. Um, everything's in good working order. As of right this moment, I just found out that I got a little teeny cracks developing in the belt. I mean, it still works and all, but uh, I can start, I can hear it go, you know, crackling. And I just inspected it real close. And uh, I'll be replacing the belt. But other than that, I mean, it, it runs like a champ. I got this back in like 2010, somewhere in there. Um, you can you can check my uh, Instagram pages. I'm at uh, umarex underscore Tim. And uh, it's got all the stuff that I've made with this, or a lot of the stuff. You, you may have to scroll way down to find it. But uh, in the last year and a half or so, it's just been sitting around idle collecting dust. I just started it back up because I recently did a project where I was machining some uh, HDPE plastic for some uh, 3D risen vats. What you're seeing here is uh, when I went to do that that project, I found that my my offsets were were not right for some reason. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. So I had to double check and everything is spot on. I mean, it, it, it nails it nails it every time uh, what had happened is uh, when I cut my uh, blocks of HDPE I had just assumed that the saw blade was perfectly up and down and it was not it was off angle to the side so it gave me one side small and one side large this is why I was having problems with uh with with that project man uh if I weren't already bald-headed I would have pulled my hair out trying to think what the hell was causing that but it comes with the Sprout Cam 7 the computer that powers it, the monitor. Uh, I'm keeping the keyboard because that's what I use for my other computers. So you'll have to get your own. Uh, it, that's that's if or when it sells. Anyways, uh, everything's in perfect working order as far as I'm concerned. It did have some damaged paint because uh, under here, those of you who own Tormox who know about them, this here, when you put your coolant on, it the coolant tends to stick to this. And any metal shavings that hang on to it will drag back and forth on that on that pan and just screw up that paint. Anyways, they had that. But uh, I took it apart, sanded it down, repainted it with matching paint. So it's all good now, man. I mean, there was no rust to speak of. So uh, anything that was there was like a surface rust. So uh, that's completely been cleaned off. But in fact, I don't know if you can tell or not, but see this ripple right here? I freaking globbed on that new paint, so it's not likely to ever come off again. Um, another thing is that uh, once I started noticing that that my paint was scraping off, I I don't know if I can get over here or not. Oh, shit, I'm not going to be able to do it. Anyways, I went to the Home Depot and I bought a bunch of these vinyl mats, and I just set them down in there as like a protection, so uh, that never, never really got a chance to, to do any more damage that it had already done. Um, yeah, man, I, I don't know if I should open all these damn boxes or not, because I hate putting it all back together again. It's, it's all in the original box. This is the tail stock for the, uh, fourth axis. Um, behind this mess is the actual chain that, that there it is. The factory set up for helping you, you know, raise it, lower it, set it up. That's all in there. The fourth axis is in this box. I don't know if you want to look at it or not. If you do, just let me know. Um, yeah, man, everything is good. All that black crap that's under there, I thought I had to clean that up. But the, all that's just uh, the shavings off of that plastic project that I just finished up. Um, I may include that a short clip of that just so you see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, man, if you uh, are interested to see if this is a, a legit machine, Go over to the Instagram pages, like I said, umarex underscore Tim, and uh, I'll try to include it in the description of this particular uh, post so that you can do it. I mean, do a thorough check on it. But anyways, yeah, and I'm I'm not 
I don't need to sell this, you know, I mean, but it's just collecting dust. Ever since I started going into 3D printing more and more, I found that a lot of the stuff that I can, I can mill it or I can 3D print it. And it's much easier to 3D print it for me. So I'm going to be selling this, hopefully. And uh, with some of the funds that I sell it with, I'll probably just get a, a small uh, vertical mill to replace it, just to do rudimentary uh, milling. Let me know. Oh, yeah. You're probably wondering how much I want for it, for the whole shebang. You're looking at probably about 10 grand. I don't want to part it out. I don't want to sell it piece by piece. If you need to see it running, well, it's set up now, so I'm not going to take it apart and hope that somebody comes by. So uh, uh, I'll use it from time to time if I have to, but mostly just a dust collector, an expensive dust collector. So uh, that's it, man. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Here's some of the stuff that came with this this uh, package when I bought it. Um, a lot of it I didn't even use, man. It was like when you go to the grocery store and you don't have lunch or dinner and you go there hungry and you start buying all kinds of shit that you don't really need. Well, I, I, I could use it, so I bought it at the time I had the money. I probably wouldn't have bought some of this stuff now. But anyways, it came with the uh, tool height gauge, all the software, the control sprue cam, the control software. The computer's actually underneath here. Uh, I'm not going to take it out. You just have to take my word for it. Anyways, everything, the, the manuals. Here's the fourth fourth axis setup. Um, the three jaw. The uh, tail stock. It's, like I said earlier, it comes with this tooling holder. Not, it doesn't include any tooling. You'll have to get that on your own. Um, let's see. I think I already mentioned that I'm going to replace the, the spindle belt pulley. Uh, because it had some some slight cracking on it that I could tell it was it was making a crackling sound, so uh, that's an easy fix. So I just got to order the part. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you what what all comes with this. Okay, uh, what doesn't come with it is is uh, my 24 hour customer support. I mean that's what Tormach is for. I just want to sell it, move on to what I'm moving on to, and uh, hopefully whoever buys it, if somebody buys it. Uh, they'll already know what to do and how to do it. If not, there's all the manuals that came with it, everything that you need to know. Also plenty of uh, tutorials online. Uh, that's how I learned most of it myself. Fortunately, I hadn't, I didn't do any crashing of tools or anything like that. I do manage, oh, also this vice is coming with it. I did manage to do this number here on it after like the fourth, fifth time of using it, uh, mostly because I was in too much of a damn hurry. And uh, I ran my mill across the top of that, but it uh, doesn't affect the function of it at all. It just shows you that I'm a human being, that's all. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else I can show you. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, like I said before, I don't want to part it out. I don't want to trade for anything. I just want to sell it, move it out, make room for uh, the smaller manual mill, manual vertical mill, I should say. And I'll be working with that instead. Uh, oddly enough, I, I started out doing all this on one of these cheap little Harbor Freight mini mills. I bought that like, God, about 25 years ago. Still got it. Still dicking around with it. Uh, I do most of the work on that because most of the stuff I do is just rudimentary stuff. Anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks, man. Thanks for taking the time to look.